Hello, this is Madhukar. I am with my friend Ashok and Garuda. Uh, we are here to present our final project. Uh, our topic is on like our model is locking latch mechanism. We are here come with the abstract using Fusion 360 3D modeling software implementing a product assembly composed of several parts like minimum like 10 using the modeling techniques extrude, revolve, mirror, pattern, holes, etc. Adjustable latch lock serves as a safe sealing mechanism for residential, industrial and commercial applications. We choose this product as a project because we wanted to create something that would be worthy of design for manufacturing and design for assembly in a short period of time. In this project, all the parts of adjustable latch lock using for using 360 how to get the concepts of design for manufacturing and design for assembly have been addressed with the modification made in primary assembly as needed. Object 2 oh. Redesign the adjustable latch lock with the simple design changes in the frame and the rollers and decrease the overall material used in the manufacturing model the retailer return gainer and bush with the increased degree of freedom redesign the parts required for modeling and assembly Develop a CNC core for the development milling part. Yeah, here comes your introduction. Yeah, I want to talk about the the model which I was which were done the latches of the mechanical components that allow the temporary joining of parts that are moving relative to each other. The actuator to release the coupling and allow the two parts to separate. A simple latch is composed of a base, a bolt, a box, a hole. The base which contains the bolt is typically installed on the door. Uh, this basic design is further modified and brought for different types of latches. The most distinct type of discussed below. A spring latches can be different constructions. A simple spring latch has an L-shaped bolt called plunger. There is a small hole for inserting a clip or pin. The slam latches are mostly used in the high traffic doors, seen in commercial and industrial areas. Emergency exists also features a slam latch that can easily be released by pushing the handle. Here my friend Ashok gonna talk about the model and its parts. Yeah, uh, mainly the parts of new model contains like uh, the arm plastic, lock arm, lock mechanic mechanism part, lock part 2, metal bushing, the pan head cross, this is screwed in retainer gear, rivet, sheet metal screws. These are the essential components to working process of the automatic latch lock. Lock arm, metal bush and retaining the care or development parts in the design. <coughs> These are the assembly view of our our model which we are going to uh, re-modify that. Uh, we exploded the view with a, uh, containing the, uh, each and every part in the model like everything bush and a new model of the uh, our model we can see all the parts clearly which are after exploding yeah like uh, we already got is like nine total parts so these are the parts you can see from the diagram like sorry from the snap yeah bill of so, metals uh, contains like all all the steel metal like a lock on lock on uh, lock mechanism part metal bushing and uh, rivet din and retirement gear, sheet metal, screws, tin and lock part 2, arm plastic, all these are like made mm, of steel, these are about bill of materials. Yeah, uh, from bill of materials we can see clearly that uh, we will be using one lock arm, one lock, one lock mechanism <coughs> part, one metal bushing and two rivets and four soft metal screws, one plastic, arm plastic, one these arm are the things we will be using for developing a latch lock or uh, for this picture yeah for picture you can see that it's an old model uh, it doesn't have any retaining gear and the bush it's just a simple locking mechanism yeah. design for manufacturing uh, design for manufacturing also sometimes known as design for manufacturing is a general engineering art of designing products in such a way that they are easy to manufacture the basic idea exists in almost engineering disciplines, but of course, the details differ widely depending on the manufacturing technology. This design practice not only focuses on the design aspect of a part, 
but also on the productivity. In simple, it means that re relative ease to manufacture a product or assembly. The design stage is very important in product design. Most of the product life cycle costs are committed at design stage. If the process is not followed diligently, the product may fail at a manufacture stage. That will be wastage of a lot of time spent on the designing and moreover the usage of metals. Areas of improvement. <coughs> in the original product, we don't have the ordering gear and the bush. We consider how we can reduce the parts pattern that needs to manufacture the complex part without compromising the features of the product. We also consider in our modified or proposed product how we can manufacture the different parts easily. We basically redesign three distinct criteria for design for manufacturing. In previously design latch locks, the spacing between the joints is more compared to the new one, which is hard for DFM, DFM like design for manufacturing. The modified design has better joints, which is good for Design for manufacturing, we try to reduce part pattern that needs to be manufactured the complex part without compromising the feature of the product. We also consider in our modified or proposed product how we can manufacture the different parts easily. We redesign the three parts from the model. One is Lockom. Lockom is modified and compared to the old version by introducing a joint for the metal pushing which holds. Retainer gear for adjusting the length for the locking easily. Lockom is a simple design which is easy to DFM the best use of the latch lock mechanism. <coughs> in the new design, we made a total of four holes in the lockom. Two holes will be used for the holding the metal bushing, and the other two will be the locking the joint with the lock mechanism. Then the second one we redesigned is the metal bushing. The metal bushing is designed to hold retainer gear and lock with the base locking plate. As the design simple and uh, efficient which is easy to DFM. Then uh, one more thing we redesigned is like retainer gear. The old version uh, don't have any retainer gears. We tried to modify by adding extra threading to the old version which is easy to uh, achieve for the locking of the all circumstances. These are the modified retaining gear and the metal bush which holds each other in the mechanism. Well, this is a lock arm. The boat gonna fix on these lock arm. These three things are the main important things which are modified we are, compared we are, to the old one. We are redesigned. Design for assembly. Like, it's a process by no, which the products are designed, designed with ease of assembly. If a product contains fewer parts, it will take less time to assemble, they will be reducing assembly cost. In addition, if the parts are provided with the feature which make it easier to move, orient and insert them. This will also reduce assembly time and assembly cost. There are few guidelines in for design for assembly. The guidelines are like design for ease of fabrication, design for parts orientation and handling, simplify the design and reduce the number of parts, standardize the standardize and use common parts of materials, element tingly parts, color code parts that are definitely shaped similarly, design modular products, design for automated production. Yeah, uh, results, these are the results uh, when we design like, type of parts like uh, the original model it contains 14, the modified when they got reduced like 9, then number of parts will be 18, then it will reduce it to modified model is 12. The, the manufacturing <coughs> the original one is a uh, process like complex which is a difficult thing. Then in, when it comes to modified model it will be easy for a uh, moment. When it comes to assembly it will be complex for the original model. Then compared to new model it is easy. Yeah, usually the complexity is yes. Uh, then modified model is no further conclusion like i want to conclude by saying that in the end of the project we say that the modified model is clearly satisfies the target of the project without violating or compromising of the features that can be provided the dfm and dfa is implemented brilliantly in the pros in the proposed design which is some portion improve the functional design though it was not our goal 
more some more modification would have been done in future for having the better locking mechanisms right thank you